Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. And share this video with a friend, get somebody new into fishing. But today we're at Walmart, we're about to run inside, grab some swim baits because we are literally going to swim bait fish today for whatever bites. That is the game plan. So we're gonna go inside, grab some baits, and then head out on the river and see what we can catch. So we can be catching some bass today. We could be catching some mudfish. We could be catching some redfish, some flounder, maybe even some trout. We're going for just about anything. We're gonna be in brackish water. So let's go ahead and get it started. By the way, I got Tara with me. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get inside, pick out our baits and you're gonna to get to pick some too. So we're gonna get multiple options and then we're gonna to go to the river and show you guys some big fish. So let's get it. All right, Tara, what are we getting? Swim baits only. Swim baits only. So I'm gonna let you pick first, whatever you wanna pick, but it has to be a swim bait. And so one thing that we're gonna need, we're gonna need a lot of jig heads today because we're gonna tend to break off. So we'll actually start off with the jig head. So which ones do you like the best? What's your favorite jig heads on the wall? You have me pick first? Yeah, I'm having you. You don't wanna pick? Well, these are, or I can pick here, here. I can pick the jig head. So. Last time we went out on the river, it was just me and Connor. If you guys didn't see the, one of the last episodes on the river, you need to check it out. It's a very long video. We went out two different days, but we caught a lot of big fish. I'll link it down below. It was a lot of fun. But we grabbed a lot of jig heads and we only had, or we had two packs. So we had 10 of them. We ended up breaking off every single one. So we're gonna need a lot today. Okay, so these are the ones that I went out with last time. These are 3 8 ounce. There are, there's five of them in each one. It's just a white jig head with like a red eye. I think this is a good, just standard jig head to get. So I think we're gonna get, how many packs here? Three. Three. Four. Four, why, why not four, right? Should we do four? Yeah. I, I feel like it's better to play safe and then next time we go out, we'll have some jig heads. Hopefully, hopefully we don't lose them all. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the swim baits. I'm gonna let you pick first. So I'm gonna let you pick. I say you pick out two to three packs and then I'm gonna pick out whatever. All right, Tara, you are first on the list. Are you, you feel special? Yes, you I do. You get to feel pick special. out the first batch of swim baits. So, I'm what are you thinking? I'm going to get the best ones. You know, the best okay. ones. Okay. So, we got a lot of different options, guys. A ton of different options. They actually have a pretty nice, like, saltwater section. So, we're going to go through these and then we'll go over towards the bass stuff as well. They're, like, almost sold out over there, though. I'm so. huge on color. I love the color. Usually sparkles. I love sparkles. <laughs> what do you think? Should I have a yellow tail on that? Let me see those. Okay. You like those? I like these. These ones look kind of crazy. I like the sparkle, but I'm gonna go with the white ones. Mama's chicken. Mama's Yellow. chicken. Yellowtail. Mm. I'd munch it up. You don't like mama's chicken? I always love mama's chicken. We got the gulp. We our last one for our bass. Beautiful white. Love the pearl white. All right, so that's Tara's choices. We got two saltwater packs, and then we got a zoom pack of uh, swim baits. Cool. That's it? You don't want to pick out anymore? I'm happy with three. I might okay. change my mind. Okay. I think that's good for our options. So we got four packs of jig heads, three packs of baits for Tara. Now we're going to put the camera on me and I'm going to figure out what I want. So you picked all the good options. Just kidding. You didn't. Didn't pick the ones that I would have picked, which I'm glad. So last time that we actually went out, we got some of these DOA swim baits and it's got like a little uh, chartreuse tail on it. So it's got like watermelon red on top, a little bit of whitish flake on the bottom. And it's got like the chartreuse tails. And we ended up catching a lot of good fish on those. So I think, I think I'm gonna go with a pack of these. I might actually buy, I'm gonna buy two packs. Why not? I think that's just like a saucy color. What do you think? I didn't pick them for a reason. Okay, so look at this. We actually got some, some of the same brand, the same paddle tails, but these are chartreuse on top and white on the bottom. I think we're gonna go with those. I really like these, but these aren't really a swim bait. Like it's got like a little twirly tail on it, but should we try it? Because I, so this color, Tara, is called electric chicken. And I've heard a lot of good things about it. Like saltwater fish supposedly love electric chicken. I've gone crappy fishing once. I used the electric chicken and it caught them. So I think I'm gonna have to go with these. We're gonna consider that a swim bait. I mean, it's got like a little curly tail, swim bait body. We'll go with those. Let's try this one. So that's like a purplish blue. It's got silver on the bottom and then another chartreuse tail. I don't know what it is, but I like the baits with the chartreuse tail. I just feel like the fish are gonna munch this. So these are the baits that I'm gonna pick. Um, we got five packs. We got the electric chicken. We got the chartreuse swim baits. And then we got two packs of these. 
That's like the saucy color. Then the last pack, we got the purple chartreuse tail. I think those are gonna work pretty well. So yeah, that's about it. Let's grab Tara's pack of baits. Four packs of jig heads. Let's go ahead and hit the water, guys. I didn't want to spend too much time in here, but I did want to show you guys the whole tackle process of what we're going to be throwing. So big variety of this stuff. There's actually one more thing I wanted to look at, Tara. For all of y'all that are big on catching redfish. Shrimp? Not, not shrimp. Okay, the shrimp are really good. I, <laughs> I like really want to get a pack of them, but I feel like that's cheating. Like we got to fish with a swim bait today. Did want to get like some stinky stuff to put on the bait. Like you guys know you're big. The, the saltwater people are big in the scent. And I didn't know if there's like a bottle of something I could buy. Okay, that is gold paint. That's not what I'm looking for. Hold on, we we got we got something going here. So, where are they at? This pack of electric chickens are very similar to that. I think we can consider that a swim bait, right? It's, it's, I mean, it's got the curly tail, but it's in the nasty juice. So you know what we could do too. We could also like open this pack of baits and put it in the nasty smelly stuff if we wanted to. I think we should go with these. Let's just do it. Okay, we're gonna go with this. We just gotta be careful, Tara. We do not spill this on the boat. That's like <laughs> prohibited, okay? They, my boat will smell for years if we spill that on the boat. Okay, not guys, I, I'm gonna stop grabbing things before I like buy the whole fishing section and we're gonna go check out. So I will catch you guys at the lake. <laughs> All right, guys, we just made it out. I'm debating to throw this lose Xfinity inshore rod or if I should throw my kicking combo. I'm not sure, but if you want to check out any of the lose combos, link could be down below. If you want to check out the kicking their bass, X lose combos are available on kickingtheirbass.com. I'll link those down below as well. I think I'm going to go with a spinning rod. I want more of a fight today. And I feel like with this light swim bait, it'll be pretty good. Tara's going to be running a Mach 2 spinning rod. And we're going to get it started. We're going to go ahead and tie up. We just had someone ride past us and hoping it didn't wash the fish up too much because they did not really slow down there. Hoping they're going to be biting, guys. We literally got like an hour and a half of fishing. We don't have long just because of how the tides are. So I'm hoping we're gonna get on these fish fairly quick. That's why I went to a good spot to where I think we could catch some bass, redfish, mudfish, really about anything that bites. So I'm gonna go ahead and rig this up real quick and I'll show you guys whatever I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put on that standard jig head, but then we're gonna pick out our little swim baits of choice and figure out what we're gonna end up using. See if uh, Tara picked out some good baits because I assume you're gonna be picking out one that you, you got. I'm gonna use one of yours. What are you tying on, Twinkie? You need to tie on the you need to tie on the jig head that we bought. That's habit. <laughs> Is it habit that EW? I know. Every time Tara comes out fishing, she usually throws a Texas rig. So I don't blame you for doing that. But yeah, we're gonna throw these. We're gonna throw the old jig heads too. These ones are pretty. Yeah, you can you can throw you can throw any no, of the baits. I'm not throwing one of yours. You can which. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest, guys. I think we went a little overkill on the baits. I spent seventy dollars on swim baits at Walmart, which is pretty impressive, to be honest. I didn't think I would spend that much money on solely swim baits. So Can I start out with smelly or what? I don't know if we'll get enough time to throw each one. I mean, we're only out here for an hour and a half, two hours max. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Should we start out with smelly or no? Probably not. No, I don't want to start. I don't want to start with the smelly. I think I'm going to go with this this one right here, with the watermelon red on top, and it's got like the gray on the bottom with the little chartreuse tail. I think that's going to be a good one. That's what I want to start off with. All right, guys. Well, this is what I got rigged up. What you think, Tara? Looks pretty. What you think. And looks I actually good. threw this. I threw this the other day, so. I'm curious to see what we gonna get. First things first, we're gonna check our drag. I think it's pretty good. And we're gonna get the casting, guys. Hopefully we gonna get some big fish right now. I'm excited. Um, I haven't been this excited for a video in a moment. And we're gonna work this thing on the bottom and kind of slow reel it, kind of pop it off the bottom. See if we can get some bites. We got a big cold front that blew in this morning, so I'm hoping that these fish are gonna bite pretty good. I don't know what to expect right now. That current is whipping, Tara. My bait is already over here, guys. I just threw it up there on that point. No way. Already on one? Wait, no, I'm stuck. Okay, I got it, I got it off. I was about to say, no way on my first cast. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. Okay. 
<laughs> that would have been insane. First cast of the day, it's freaking hugging big one. What's that? I don't know. You can consider it bad luck or you can consider it good luck. I don't. I guess it goes both ways. It can. It's either going to be really bad or really good if you catch one on your first cast. That's how I feel about it. There's no in between. It's not just going to be a mediocre day. It's either going to be really good or really bad. You're going to throw the same one as me? No, this is Mama's chicken. Oh, Mama's chicken. Looks like it's got a little bit of gravy on there. I'm excited to fight these fish on a spinning rod today. I don't throw a spinning rod often, so I'm kind of kind of pumped up. I feel like there could be a good bass on that corner. Too fair if he casts like to the right of me. I feel like there would be a good bass sitting there on that break, on the current break. Oh, I got slammed. Tara, I'm on. Is it on there? Yeah, I'm on. Oh, it's a nice bass. There we go, baby. There we go. First fish is a bass. Look at it, nice, nice little fish right there. Guys, he's fighting good in this current. There we go, guys. Let's get it started. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Right off the rip. Maybe I stole your fish. I told Tara, I said there's gonna be a bass on that corner, and I thought it'd be more to the right, but there's probably some more there. To just get out here and to catch our first pretty little bass. Nothing big, but a nice fish. Get him back in the water. Let him swim another day already on board there he goes here we go he he bit like a bass he didn't bite like one of those reds you it. yeah he kind of like tick 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 and he had it those reds were like playing like a bluegill on this we go boys and girls and get us started somewhere there should be some more up there tara some of them bass you got to get up on the bank though if you're hanging off of it i don't know if it'll be up there like kind of like right up that that alley so much stuff on top of the water guys when you got this tide pushing out it just so much debris gets flushed down the down the river like i just threw right into a piece of it there we go we're off you gotta be careful with that i'm glad we got a bass marked off the list guys now we just need some other species i'd love to keep catching some bass though i can't complain with that i love catching bass on this channel I don't know if there would be any any reds here. I'm not sure. I guess only time will tell. Yeah, I mean, we, we went out here last week, guys, and there's some reds here, but who, there's no telling, you know, they could be done. There we go, Tara. Oh my goodness. Jer yeah, that was a red bite. I let it hit the bottom and slow reeled it and he just he my line was pulling like he he tugged my line hard that felt like a red bite all right that gives me some confidence here i didn't feel like a bass bite so i let it hit the bottom i slow reeled it and he he pulled back on me hard oh tara oh my gosh that bite was just intense that was crazy right there i mean it was just a straight like boom, like one hard hit yeah I didn't have that at all. it was aggressive it's almost like a like a mud fish bite jeez i can't believe he didn't hold on to it it's like he just slammed it and then and then let go yeah they're definitely not here Ooh. There he is, Tara. That's him. That's him. What is that? Is that a bass? It's a red. It is a red. <laughs> I guess they're here. <laughs> Guys, I was literally just saying, I guess the reds aren't here. And then I just, I, I get bit as I was saying that. That's funny. Not a big one, but now we got a bass and a red for the video, which is awesome. Look at that swim bait in his mouth. Beautiful fish, one spot on his tail. First old red of the day. There we go. Let's get it. What do you think about that, Tara? That gives you hope. I will say I threw this one up a little shallower and was reeling it like slow on the bottom. So maybe we're figuring out something. I mean, if there's one guys, there's more. There's not just one red sitting here. There is definitely more than I was running it slow on the bottom too. I had my rod tip down and just kind of 
barely creeping it guys kind of popping my rod tip and I just felt him start grabbing it you know one of the last times we came out here when we were trying to catch those we were kind of hopping it off the bottom just like a little shaky head almost like a little worm just kind of bobbing it off the bottom but maybe they don't want that today maybe they want it moving just kind of creep along the bottom pretty slow so throw it out there let it hit the bottom point our rod tip down so we keep that bottom contact slowly reel this bait kind of give it a couple pops slowly reel it Jeez. i made like the money cast and just got hung up so pop that one yeah looks like we are about to rig up all right we're gonna have to tie back on real quick try to get back in there i might push up a little shallower guys with this shallower shallower might push up a little shallower fish might not be deeper right now they could be more up there that's where i actually got that red the bass was on the edge of the current break which makes total sense but as far as that red he was pushed up a little more i think we're gonna switch up a little bit guys and and throw a different color kind of want to try this one this is the it's like a purple with blue flake on top and then it has the silver on the bottom with the chartreuse tail this one looks honestly this one looks fire maybe this would be the secret bait i want to keep switching up and trying different baits throughout the day i don't want to throw the same ones i mean we only bought 70 dollars of walmart's one baits so we at least need to try a few out Oop, yep. Wait, I, I'm hung up here, but I don't know. That that really did feel like a nibble. I don't know about that. That might have been a bite. I'm not sure. Guess we'll never know. Oh you got one. Big? That's crazy. What is it? It's a bass. A striper. Yes. Yes. You know Get the three species. Crazy. She's got a striper on, guys. A little hybrid bass. Get him, girl. Get him, girl. Get him, girl. Yes! Ah, Good job. Cool. All right, that's your first striper ever, isn't it? Yeah. Or hybrid. Wow. There you go, Tara. Yeah. Look at that, guys. So, so Tara, we've caught three fish today. We've caught a bass, a red, a and now a baby striper. striper. That's crazy. That is so, so cool. So it bit it, and then I dropped it back in, literally, and it, the second really? time dropping it, I saw it go in, I saw it bite Right it. next to the boat? Right next to the boat. Wow, here Straight you want to hold him? Yeah. Yeah, he's on, he's on fight, you gotta grip him good. Yeah. See how small his mouth is? Yeah. Look at that, good job, girl. That's awesome, your first little I'm hybrid stoked. bass. Nice. Gosh, these are pretty. There you go, that's and awesome. First striper. Well, we've caught three species today, <laughs> only three good. fish, and it's been three different kinds. That's awesome. You wanna get a picture with them? Oh, your first one? I look like I'm fishing in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Tara's got a winter coat on in 55 degree weather. <laughs> it is a little chilly driving. Nice. Heck yeah, let's try to get some more. So you watched them eat it? I watched them eat it. Well, right, so look. when those stack up, so throw back out there. I oh. literally hit it and then watched. It was right here. Yeah. Boom. Uh, yeah, isn't that crazy? So guys, I'm actually gonna switch up to this all-star truce one. Just because this one's actually messed up. Look at the tail. Just because I want to keep switching up baits. I didn't get to really fish that other one productively. Like I never, I broke off twice on it. So maybe we'll go back to it, but I want to throw this one. Hopefully we'll get on some of those stripers right there. Yeah, Tara, those usually stack up pretty good out here. Yeah, you can get on them. I'm just gonna let the boat sit here. We're like bottomed out. Where was he at? Just kind of out in the middle. Right here. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I told you. I okay, where, where was your initial cast? Because he definitely followed you in. Yeah, straight out there. I just cannot believe, guys, that we, we've we had three fish today so far. Three, three fish, and they're all different. A redfish, a striper, and a bass. And that's what this video is all about, guys. We were trying to throw swim baits for whatever bites, and we're doing it right here. And it looks like everything's biting them. 
I'm pretty sure I had a mudfish bite earlier too, so we probably would have had a mudfish too. This would have been pretty crazy. Which I never like love catching mudfish, but I mean for the video's sake, it would be pretty cool. That's the glorious part about fishing this brackish water like this, guys. I mean, you, just catching bass and and saltwater fish in the same spot is just crazy to me. Wait, was that on your white swim bait, the bass swim bait? Mama's chicken. Oh, that was mama's chicken. Okay. You switch back to it. Yeah. Oh. He bit me right at the freaking boat. It's like right there. He's throwing like parallel with his bank. There he is, Tara. I threw back in there. No freaking way, it's a mudfish. It is a mudfish. We are doing the most in this challenge today, guys. We are doing literally the most. Oh, I already came off. I'm not complaining. Okay. Four fish, four different species. What in the world? I don't think we could do this challenge any better. Unless we go five for five. What are we catching next? A flounder? It, it really wouldn't surprise me. I don't know what else there really is to catch other than flounder. Maybe a trout. Maybe a warmouth. I feel like I don't really catch warmouth on this river though. Oh my gosh. That was a good bite. Now I'm stuck in a freaking tree. That's so annoying. Now you know why I bought a ton of swim baits, guys. Because I have broken off four times in the matter of 15 minutes. It can happen out here. Especially when you're throwing an open hook swim bait in an infested river with, with just trees everywhere. I mean, this river is infested with wood just all around. So that is going to happen as part of it. But that is okay. I'm just going to tie another one back on. And I might go back to the original swim bait I put on. I actually really like that color. I just feel like it's a good overall color. Oh, dude, don't do it, dang it. Okay, I popped it off. All right, guys, I'm going with Mr. Electric Chicken. Tara's going to go with a smelly one. Ew, this is slimy. Let's see. Oh, yeah, guys, look at that. If, that, if there ain't a bait, there's a bait out there. All right, y'all, we going right up here a little more. A little more. I'll show you what we can do. I didn't plan on coming up in here, especially with this shallow water. Like, usually when it gets this low, I don't even bother to come up here. But, you know, I'm fishing for bass 90% of the time. So maybe, just maybe, there's some fish up here. Tara, we got about 30 minutes of daylight. We've done good, but we need more than what we caught. We've done good on the species part. If we can just find some fish and start catching them. The sad part is, guys, I know of a ton of spots that we could go and just kill the bass right now. Like, I know we could go catch them. But I, I kind of want to try for some different fish still while we have the momentum going. I'm, I'm honestly just curious. Look at that right there. That's a different fish, Tara. Oh, it's a bass. Oh! I lost all my traction. He smoked that electric chicken. You see that? That chicken was going crazy up in there. Hey, he was right where he needed to be. I cast it right down the pipe and I was just slow rolling that thing on the bottom. He popped that chicken. He going, tur, 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 tur. you know, when I think of an electric chicken, I think of one of those like animal toys that they have a little twisty key on the side and it goes, tur, 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 tur. that's what I'm thinking of when I think of an electric chicken. I can't believe I just lost that. <gasps> oh, that was a good one, Tara. That was a good one. That was a freaking. Oh, it's a massive mud. Oh, <laughs> the electric chicken. That's what he's doing down there. That was a good bite, Tara. Holy cow. Boys, the electric chicken. I, I don't know, man. This might be the sauce. Let's see if we can get a couple more bites on this puppy. 